Hello and welcome to another episode of Through an Opaque Lens with me, Niall Murphy. Still coming from that same location that I um, that I found. Actually, I like I like filming here, I'll be honest, man. So I'm sorry that if my location um, is going to get a bit more repetitive than it usually is. But um, I found somewhere that looks good on all levels. And also, um, I'm away from everyone. It's quiet. There's no normies. There's no traffic. Um, and it's, I have a whole flipping park to myself. So who wouldn't want to make um, good use of that, even if it kind of means that my location shots are always going to look the same from one episode to another. Mind you, there is a little bit of variation. As long as I walk around, you can see it. So anyway, I'm back already um, the next day as I'm recording this. March 11th, only one day after recording. And um, what would I like to talk about today? Well, I would like to follow up roughly from um, what I was talking about yesterday. Um, but I'm calling this episode um, the Ma Emmanuel Goldstein effect is happening now. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, I want to share an article with you. This is from Reuters. So no one can say it's from a fringe extremist organisation if it comes directly from Reuters, because as far as the mainstream media goes, it's the horse's mouth, is Reuters. So I cannot get more reputable in their eyes than to be using a press release from them. Um, then I can be accused of doing no wrong. This article, which of course I will just um, put up there and I will scroll along it. You can pause it and read it if you want, and then you can, um, you know, come back to the video as you wish. Um, I've sort of glanced through this article myself as I speak, and um, what I make from this, I do find this actually very, very disturbing indeed. Um, the trouble is at the moment now, um, they're bringing in all this hate speech laws, you know, online harms bill or whatever they want to bring into the UK, where you know, you can tweet things and say things, and then, of course, you know, um, if it's hate, you're a criminal, or whatever, you know. Uh, but Facebook themselves wish to suspend their hate speech rules when it comes to certain things to do with Russia. So some countries, according to this article, will be able to talk about, you know, um, their desire to want to assassinate Vladimir Putin, say, for instance. But I don't know. I mean, what sort of world are we living in? when, you know, the gatekeepers, big tech and all that, are telling us what's acceptable to hate, right? While there's other things we're not allowed to hate. So if you are the sort of a person who then wishes to say, all oh, right, well, in my opinion, or from what I can see from the research that I've done, um, biology is real, and that men are men and women are women, and trans women, therefore, are not the same, should we say, as biologically born women, and how could I say, poor transvestites who don't look like women in any kind of way whatsoever, who self-identify a certain way. If you have the wrong type of opinions when it comes to that sort of thing, you knock on the door, hello, 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 we're the police. What's all this then? We're it, check your thinking, me old son. Right? But on the other hand, are they now suggesting that they're going to suspend their hate speech policy on Facebook to say, well, it's OK to say you want to assassinate Vladimir Putin, it's okay to incite violence towards the Russians. I mean, I don't know about you, but I find this, uh, I just find this absolutely, utterly, utterly, completely morally bankrupt at this point. This is wrong. This is wrong on all levels. And I don't mind posting this video on Facebook and, um, you know, explaining why I consider this to be wrong on most levels, on all levels, shall I say. You see, as far as I'm concerned, right, this is a politician's war. This isn't my war. This is a politician's war. This is a central banker's war. This is a social engineer, elite power, crazy war. This has got nothing to do with me. Um, it's got nothing to do with any of us. The only thing that has to do with us is the uh, scarcity and the inflation and uh, kind of the fallout will come from it. But it's not something that any of us really wanted um, to be part of. And now we're being told to take sides. It's okay, it's okay completely okay to be completely um, standing with Ukraine all of the time uh, and to just forget any of their misdemeanors whatsoever. But at the same time, we have to be 100% anti-Russian. And also, incidentally, Facebook, I think, is going, to be, is going to be blocked from Russia. So Russia won't be able to use Facebook. And, of course, Russia will then, I think, already have done, released a press release to say that, uh, you know, that their criticisms of Facebook, how it's an extremist organisation and it's there to track you all of the time. And, um, you know, you know, probably right, aren't they? That's the thing. But, again, you know, you've got these different media biases on different sides. 
So, we now are being told who the enemy is. We now are being told who it is acceptable to hate and for whom we can waive those hate, hate speech laws. You know, again, it's alright. Yes, it's alright to hate them. It's alright to say that you want to assassinate them and incite violence against them because um, that doesn't count as real hate. That's hate light. That's, I can't believe it's not hate. That's what it, I mean. Now, what sort of message does this send out? This message sends out to, um, you know, to the general public, so to speak, that, um, you know, hate is okay as long as hate is sanctioned by the gatekeepers, by the media, by governments and all of that. It's not hate if we say it's not hate. It is hate if we say it is hate, even if it isn't real hate. And that's the thing, you see. So, um, but at the same time, they are being extremely blatantly transparent, are they not now, about what, uh, you know, <laughs> oh, God, on, dogs keep on coming over, over towards me. Hello, doggy, you right. Anyway, where was I? Yes. What I was saying is that, you know, this is some kind of Emmanuel Goldstein effect. This is what this is. For those of you who haven't read 1984, I suggest you read it. And for those of you who really would like to understand how to, um, how this world really works at the moment, and really would like to be able to make yourselves immune from this, if you want to give your mind a vaccine from the virus of our time at the moment, then I suggest what you do is you read 1984 by George Orwell. You then um, download and listen to the audio book version of it, and then you watch the movie with uh, John Hurt and, um, and Richard Burton. Yes, I suggest you do all of that. And then you start again, you read it again. And, um, and then also, when it comes to trying to understand the concepts of new speak and double think, I then suggest that you go online and you find some academics who've dissected how double think works. And you learn how to outthink a double think. You learn how it works. You see, it's okay to hate. And, um, uh, and you know, if we say it's okay to hate, it's not okay to hate. Um, if we don't say it's okay to hate, even if it doesn't involve hate, even if it's not motivated by hate. The 15 minutes of hate for Emmanuel Goldstein in 1984 sums this up entirely. Newspeak also sums this up entirely, you know. Oh, we were at war with Eurasia. Well, we're not anymore. We're now at war with East Asia. Oh, we never were at war with Eurasia. This is the thing. And, um, you know, this whole thing stinks of it. It stinks of them going through some sort of book, some, um, you know, some sort of 1984 manual, how to use it in real life to fuck with our heads, doesn't it not? This is a type of warfare. And as I say, warfare using soldiers and tanks and artillery and planes and all the rest of it is not the only warfare um, that exists out there. The other forms of warfare that we're having to deal with are often psychological too. And now we have to um, understand that you know, this is different from anything else that we've ever experienced. It's unprecedented in history. This time, this time, um, social media giants, big tech giants, and governments, and all sorts of organisations are all in on this too, nudging our biases and coercing our conformity one way or the other. And the only thing we can do there is spot it and see it and understand it reverse engineer it and remain reasonably stoic in the process instead of being angry about it instead of letting them make you angry instead of being angry or hating yourself just be fascinated by the um by the malevolent genius of it you know but at the same time give yourself a pat on the back for being smart enough to reverse engineer it that's what we've got to do and that's all we've got to do in fact I'm going to leave the video like that. I'm going to leave the video at that, and that's my food for thought for the day. Just a quickie, you know. And um, well, don't let them. Don't let them get into your soul. Remember the last uh, video I said: do not let them appeal to your lesser nature. Do not let them make you angry. Do not let them make you fearful. Do not let them put their hooks in you, and then you're all right. But nevertheless, look at the uh, you know the methods that they use. Learn about how the methods that they use work. Once you understand the simplicity of it, then don't work on you anymore. You're free. At least you're free in here. And let the world, let the world go and do what the world wants to do. There will be another era in the future, hopefully, a more enlightened one than the one we're in at the moment. We can hear hope for it. So. I am still long-term optimistic, even if we were living in a bit of a ropey time. So, with that, 
for too many cars come by and they always do when I start filming. See you later alligator, see you soon baboon. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And while you're at it, do your bit to help send big tech to the land of MySpace by having a look at the show notes below and checking out our alternative platforms.